Yeah. Next question. Chino? Musta Rafa? Working to be great is tough. You want to be great. You be you want to be king. How do you remain great as a tennis player, as a person? I wanted to be better. No, no. I don't want to be the best. I, I just wanted to improve my my level of tennis uh, year by year, day by day. Uh, that was my motivation. Uh, and I, I believe that uh, I did uh, the things that I I believe I had to do to, to become a better player. And then we'll see where I am in, in the world of in the, in the world of tennis. So it's true that uh, having uh, great players in front of you sometimes uh, helps you to, to see how much you need to improve. But at the same time, my my motivation was uh, always personal to to improve. Personal improvement. Muchas gracias. Thank you. Thank you very much, Shino. Hello, uh, Ryan. Ryan Sangalia from Rappler.com. Uh, welcome to Manila, Rafa, Tony. Uh, my question is this. Uh, there are many poor children in the Philippines who are undoubtedly big fans of you who may have misconceptions that they cannot go to tennis because maybe they feel like they don't have the means. What advice would you have to young children who, uh, who may not be uh, very well off financially but would still want to become uh, tennis players? Well, it's obvious that uh, sometimes the life is not fair for everybody. Uh, that's why it's important uh, the people who who has uh, more than than what what really need is important to to help the others. It's important to to be uh, an example for for everybody to just even if you can help a little bit, but help and if everybody is able to to help a little bit then the, the world and the opportunities for the kids in general, in tennis, in uh, students, in, in everything is are higher. So I am doing that with my foundation, I help the, the kids and for us, uh, for me, it's something important. I am trying my way, I, I know it's not going gonna, gonna, gonna to make the difference in the world, but uh, hopefully I'm going to help a little bit and I believe that uh, if all the people who really can uh, does a little bit of help for, for the people who really need. I think uh, the situation going to be going to be better for the kids, and that's going to be uh, something better for the world. And one more follow-up question, if I may: um, Have you been told? I know this is your first time visiting Manila. Uh, has anyone uh, informed you about the? Uh, the status of the tennis players here, or has anyone told you about the level of tennis in the young players here in the Philippines? I am excited to see it. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Ryan. Any more questions? Yes. Hi, I'm Crystal from Manila Politi. Do Coach Tony, Coach, what are your initial observations on the players that you've trained a while ago? I told you Rafael, the, uh, because Rafael asked me of the, the young who was very uh, good or not. I, uh, I told uh, him that with the one I have played, uh, they play very well. Then I don't know. Uh, they can play uh, late in the ATP, but there is a uh, high level. But I don't know how they can play. Okay, uh, one last question. We have time for one last question before we continue with the clinic. One final one, yes. Train the young people, you've deprived them from decent tennis sports and as well as decent equipment. I just want to know if we should do that as well so that we would be able to, you know, um, uh, we would be able to be trained well without the proper equipment and to know that equipment is not really a, uh, an option, it's not an important thing for you to be a, a better tennis player.